In this video, we will learn all about trapezoids. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral, which means it has four sides, and it has one pair of parallel sides. So that's what a trapezoid is, a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides. The reason it has to be exactly is if the shape has two pairs of parallel sides, then it's a parallelogram. So trapezoids have exactly one pair of parallel sides. The trapezoid doesn't have many special or interesting properties, but there is a special type of trapezoid called the isosceles trapezoid, which does have some properties. If you remember the word isosceles from isosceles triangle, you'll remember that it has to do with two sides being the same length. Therefore, an isosceles trapezoid is a trapezoid where the non-parallel sides are congruent. So this would be an isosceles trapezoid. In an isosceles trapezoid, the two parallel sides are called the bases. So the trapezoid has two bases. The angles at the bottom along the longer base are called the base angles. The congruent sides are called the legs. So these two sides are the legs. In an isosceles trapezoid, the base angles will always be congruent. Also, the diagonals, if you were to draw those in, will also be congruent. So this diagonal is the same length as this diagonal. All trapezoids, whether they are isosceles or not, will have something that's called a mid-segment. What the mid-segment is, is if you take the two non-base sides and find the midpoint of each, so the midpoint of this side and the midpoint of this side, and connect them, you will have the mid-segment. So remember, because these are each midpoints, we have some pairs of congruent segments there. And again, that is called the mid-segment. Now the length of the mid-segment will always be the average of the length of the two bases. So that means if you wanna find the length of the mid-segment, you would find the length or be given the length of both bases, add them up and divide by two. This works again, whether or not the trapezoid is isosceles. So for example, if the top base was length eight and the bottom base was length 14, to figure out the mid-segment, you would do 8 plus 14 and divide that by 2. And since 8 plus 14 is 22, and 22 divided by 2 is 11, the length of the mid-segment will be 11.